Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find the Laplace of cos of a t. So here we have given this f of t is equals to cos of a t where a is constant. And here we have to find Laplace of this cos of a t, right? So now we have to find this is by using definition of Laplace transform. So here we have definition of Laplace transform. Yes. When we have given one function, we can find its Laplace by using this definition. Yes, here we have integral within limit 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t, right? This integral with respect to t. Yes, when we solve this integral, we get new function of variable s and this is called the Laplace transform of this function f of t, right? Now we have to find the Laplace of cos of a t, yes. So we have to put f of t is equals to cos of a t, right? Yes. So now we have to evaluate this integral, yes. Now we can check that this integral is of this form, yes, where we have this is integration of e raised to a x into cos of b x, right? Where this a and b, these are the constants, right? And it is given by, yes, this is e raised to a x upon this a square plus b square. Yes, in bracket here we have this a into cos of b x plus b into sin of bx yes this integral which we have to use as a result right yes we have seen how to evaluate this is in last lectures so we have to use this integral here so yes we have this is laplace of cos of a t yes so on doing comparison to both this integral yes we have to write this is e raised to minus st upon this minus s square plus this a square, right? In bracket, here we have this minus s into cos of a t plus this a into this sine of a t, yes, and this is within limit 0 to infinity, yes. Yes, we have made the comparison of this two integral. On comparison, we have this is a is equals to yes, this is minus yes, and b is equals to a. And we have put this values here, right. Now, we have to put the limit, yes. We have evaluated this integral with respect to t, that means we have to put t is equals to 0 to infinity. Yes, that means this s and a is the constant. So we have to take this is outside. So minus s square, this is get plus s square and this is a square, right? This is whole square, right? And this is e raised to minus st minus s into cos of a t plus a into sine of a t, yes. This is the Laplace of cos of a t. Yes. We have taken this is 1 upon s square plus a square. This is outside the bracket. Now we have to put the limit. So here we have 1 upon s square plus a square. Yes. We have to put t is equals to infinity. So yes, we can check that. Here we will get e raised to minus infinity and we know that e raised to minus infinity is 0, right? So here we have for upper limit this term gets 0, then minus lower limit is t is equals to 0. So here we have e raised to 0, right? Then minus s into cos of 0 plus a into sine of 0, right? Yes. Now, we have to do the simplification. This is minus 
e raised to 0 is 1, yes, and this s into cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0, right. Yes, we have put this cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0, right. So, yes, here on simplification this is minus 1 into yes this minus s right minus minus get plus so here we have this is s upon yes s square plus a square right so this is the laplace of cos of 80 yes cos of 80 laplace is given by this s upon s square plus a square right and again we can check what is the condition on this variable s so here s is greater than 0 right yes we can check that here we got here e raised to minus infinity and e raised to minus infinity is 0 this is we got since we have considered s is greater than 0 right but when we consider s is less than 0 that means s get negative right and this negative and this negative get positive so here we will get e raised to infinity for s is less than 0 we will get e raised to infinity and e raised to infinity is infinity so for this laplace transform is not get well defined right so yes to get this laplace we have to consider s is greater than 0 right so we got Laplace of cos of 80. So here we have s upon s square plus a square where a is constant. So yes, we can find Laplace of this cos of phi u t by using this formula. So here we have s upon s square plus phi u square. Right? So here we got the Laplace of cos. Yes. So in this way we have find Laplace of cos of 80. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.